What kind of machine is that? That is sophisticated battery charger, believe it or not. Sophisticated battery charger. So you ain't gonna buy that at Walmart, are you? No, you have to buy it before. It's about four grand, probably better. Four grand to have a battery tested. Does it just test the battery? It tests the alternator? Yeah, it tests everything. It checks the battery, checks the cranking amp, and it tests the battery, makes sure you've got a short in it before you even try to charge it or anything. This thing portable will let you use, it also gives your DTC code and stuff like it. It's the only charger portable will let you use to check their warranty batteries with. Okay. If you ain't got a DTC code, it won't, it won't warranty a battery for you without a DTC code. It's only you can get it to this charger right here. So it, it hooks up to the vehicle and you know which vehicle it is? Yeah, it tells you the vent, it knows everything about the vehicle. It okay. Check the battery, you can run the test on it, make sure it's not shorted or it's just low charge. If you charge it, and it retest it, crank an amp and everything internally, and that way it'll uh, tell you whether you need to use the DTC code if the battery's bad. There's no doubt, when this says it's bad, it's bad, right? Right, and I'm just, I know, I'm bypassing being there everything here and it's still going through all this. Manual charge pretest except for the steel that be even put a charge in the battery so I can get the code out of it. So the little uh, gun on the top, that's what reads the VIN numbers yeah, and all that? It's like a Walmart checkout deal. You just put it on the barcode on the door and it'll read out and it tells you all about that car you want to know off that barcode. It's pretty, it's pretty user friendly. I mean, it ain't, it ain't that hard to figure out, really. So what's it doing now? Is it going through a timer? It's charging that battery right now. Yeah, and it's not checking the battery. It's going to have to charge the battery for it to check it, which I'm just wanting to get both to where I can get my codes because it's dead but the customer, the customer brought it in for a transmission problem it's got a rotary type transmission shifter in it, it says it's out of adjustment and it had some bunch of codes in it and said the transmission's acting crazy but i can't even get it to read right because the boat got to so low so having to charge better if i can get run my codes on it run test on it it's actually going to be charging a while <laughs> so what's the longest it usually charges do you know uh it depends. It's got its own set rate. Like right now, it says it's an hour is what it's going to charge this time. Okay. And then we'll recheck, and I've seen them go as high as two hours. Even you know, it just depends on what's going on, how bad it is. I don't think it charges it up. How long have you been in Studeville? <laughs> been here five years, and I've been Star Motor Company for 26 and a half years. And so you've been doing this for a little while. Since 1978. <laughs> so you I like it? I went from carburetor, accelerator, cables, and distributors to this. Yeah. <laughs> I work on diesel and. Transmission, powertrain, gas motors. But so this machine was it very hard to figure out? I mean, no, was it just uh, pretty touchy? It's simple. Cause it ain't any different from working on IDS and FDRs and all the rest of them. You know, kind of after you work them a while, you kind of figure out that stuff anyway. Kind of I see it came with an instruction book. Was it, yeah. Did it come with that, or did yeah, you Chris? Read that if you can't figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you get it all done and you ain't got it figured yeah. out, read the instructions, right? What's going on here? <laughs> I like it. Can we do it around here? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you think about Studeville? Do you like the shop? Do you like oh, this yeah. area? Best place I've ever worked at in my life. Got a good bunch of guys to work with. It's the best place I've ever worked. I've never worked. With. Of course, I, don't even, I ain't worked very many places in my life. I worked at the Ford dealership in '78 to '82 at Steelwell, and I worked at an independent shop for a while. And Lyle Stoller opened it back up in '91. I worked there from '91 to 2017, I guess, when I come over here, and I've been here ever since. Yeah. <laughs> Chris seems like a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy him. I just, like I say, it's the best place I've ever worked in my life. I never worked with him. Yeah, they're, they're much good people for yeah. people here. Now, Chris said that the, the customers in Tahlequah are a lot different than some places. They're really nice. Yeah, they're, I mean, yeah, they're different. You, yeah, you, they could definitely, you could definitely work on their vehicle. You communicate with them. Say, hey, we're, we're having trouble yeah. with this, and they, they understand. understand. And they, don't, they don't get down of shape. You know, them farmers over at Adair County wouldn't like that, because I worked over there for years. They wanted it now, and they wanted it, no matter what was wrong, they wanted thought everything had 15 minutes to fix, and it didn't, you know, some of that stuff was pretty intense. That's why I'm not in no hurry to retire. I like working here, <laughs> so I just keep staying. Well, I appreciate you letting me pick your brain, Randy. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of your way. Thanks okay. for letting me kind of yeah. talk to you a little bit about that. And remember, if you or someone you know would like more information about employment at an Oklahoma Ford dealer, please contact me at 918 
928-7433. Or email me at FordOKPTC at gmail.com. For other videos like this, check out our YouTube channel, Oklahoma Ford Dealers Technician Connection. Subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. Have a great day.